Now look into the camera. Okay. And tell the would-be client what do they do to be able to have such a fantastic greenhouse snow yeah. project yeah. in their homes. Those who want to take it commercial, how do they get in touch with you? Okay. How do they get the payment and do you have installment payment all those things okay if you can okay you know so briefly. uh we are doing urban farming this is dan suman in the middle of dan suman yeah and we are still doing this and making money we have three greenhouses just here so i urge every client to participate use the little space you have in your house to make more money we will provide technical support we provide the building everything you need here and then what we do is that we first come and do soil testing on your ground and we start turning the soil or mitigating the soil to suit the plants that we're mm. going to grow. So the process is not tedious. In a week, you should have your greenhouse set up nicely with your overhead tank and sprinkler system. We only take, uh, we take about 70% of the charge. Okay. And then once we are bringing the snails, we come and take the rest of the okay. money. That means you bring the snails when you are done with yes, the whole everything setup. is grown. And uh, How the, long will it take to set up such a smaller... Okay, we take uh, five days. To do this? To do this. Okay. Once we have done the welding, you saw the welding. Yeah. Once we have done the welding, it takes just uh, five days to set up. And then we are done, including the sprinklers and everything. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, boss. It's been it's been a journey. <laughs> I remember our last interview. That was about seven months ago. Yes. Somewhere October last year, yes. 2020, during yes. COVID. In Kumasi Atonsu. In Kumasi Atonsu, to be yes. precise. Last stop. Yes. Yes. And here we are. Behind us is the evidence of your hard work. Yes. How did we get here? Okay. So first off, I, I would say that uh, most people underestimate themselves. Okay. Uh, so in the beginning, I said, nah, this is too big. Even, excuse me to say, the leaders in the field of snails mm. have not started greenhouse. Mm. So why should I start? So okay. with consistency, with research, with persistence, Stance. that is how come we are here now. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. So now, what's the model? What's the concept like? Initially, for the first video, it was in a packet. Yes. The that, boxes. Yes, the boxes. Yes. That people will have to pay something little yes. and get it. Sure. Now, everything is in greenhouse. What's the model? Okay. Do they have to come to you, invest whilst you do the rearing of the snails for them, or this time round? What is it like? Okay. I want it to come from your own mouth. Okay, so there are three models we are running. One, we build it on your own, own uh, plot for you, okay. wherever you are. So we Your home, just, wherever. Yes, build it on your own plot for you. Okay. That one, and we add poly tank, we do all the systems, add irrigation, and then everything is set for you. Okay. And then we have the second form of investment where you give us your money, and then we take it as a loan, give mm. you interest, interest at the end of the session. And then there's also another one where you give us your money and we build it on our farm. For okay. You. So there are three options that clients can choose from. So uh, if I'm clear with it, okay, how much is the interest that you give to the person who brings the money to you? Okay. Okay, so you to we do 18% them. per annum or per month? Six months. For six months. For okay. six months. And then we do 23% for a year. That is per okay. annum. So any amount you bring, you get your principal plus your interest. After that After duration. that duration. That period. Okay. So now, my question is, uh, the one that we have behind us, this greenhouse, what is in it? Okay. Okay. So with this greenhouse, we're going to put a starter pack of a uh, thousand snails mm. that we're going to start with. There also something is that we grow things in there. So we grow natural, you can see when we go inside you cocoa see yam. cocoa yam, sweet potatoes, spinach, um, um, even some mushrooms that we are trying to grow mm. in there for the snail. So this is a natural habitat, we want you to mimic the forest environment okay. where there will be everything uh, that the snails would have needed in the, forest in the forest to do. And it has a sprinkler system so no need to go in to work, everything is done for you semi-automatically. For this question is for my viewers out there, those abroad, those in Ghana, those in Africa, who would want to start their own snail farming, green 
house, backyard, snake farming, albeit in a bigger farm. How much does it cost? And what do they need to be able to get something of a sort? Okay. So similarly, this particular uh, tractor is uh, five meters by seven meters, which is around 21 feet by uh, 15 feet. 21 by 15, 15 feet. feet. Okay, yes. so that will cost how much? That will cost about 20,000 CDs. 20,000 Ghana yes. CDs. As at 2021. Okay. So we will add a poly tank. That is a thousand liter big tank. We will connect the system to water. We will plant everything you need. Uh, the snails will eat in the greenhouse. We will also build the structure, including a security chamber. And then we will add thousand snails. To thousand it. snails to, to it. it. To it. It comes with a sprinkler, it everything. Comes with everything for the 20,000. Wow. 20,000. Yes. So, um, if you are done building this greenhouse, yes. what happens? Will you be coming to my home, my farm, to support me, feed them, or something? Or all will be taught. Okay. All those things I will be taught for me to run that greenhouse myself. As part of the money, we train four people aside, that is, including the client. So that if the client is not available, you can still... Oh, so you, the client, will provide your own people staff, for then you us train to them. train them for you. The feeding aspect, yes. after building the structure, how does the feeding okay. come in? Okay, so we saw that the, the thing that was really uh, hindering the growth of the snails was human. Human error, human intervention, human diseases. Human diseases? Yes. Wow. So, every day so you now you, it, when you are going in, you mask up. Yes, we wear I protective see. clothing. We don't even go in. So mm. the interesting thing is snails live in the forest and they are doing okay without humans. humans. So we say, sure, we take away humans, let them eat naturally on the ground. Mm. The water from the sky, that is the sprinkler. Just like it's raining. Exactly. We give mm. them water for sustenance. The things will continue to grow and no human will enter unless it is very, very Critical. important for them to enter. Wow. Okay. Now look into the camera. Okay. And tell the clans out there, the would-be clans, what do they do to be able to have such a fantastic greenhouse snow yeah. project yeah. in their homes? Those who want to take it commercial, how do they get in touch with you? Okay. How do they get the payment? And do you have installment payments? All those things. Okay. If you can, okay. you know. So uh, we are doing urban farming. This is Dansuman in the middle of Dansuman. Yeah. And we are still doing this and making money. We have three greenhouses just here. So I urge every client to participate. Use the little space you have in your house to make more money. We will provide technical support. We provide the building, everything you need here. And then what we do is that we first come and do soil testing on your ground. And we start turning the soil or mitigating the soil to suit the plants that we're going to grow. So the process is not tedious. In a week, you should have your greenhouse set up nicely with your overhead tank and sprinkler system we only take uh we take about 70 percent of the charge okay and then once we are bringing the snails we come and take the rest of the okay. money that means you bring the snails when you are done with yes, the whole everything setup. is grown and uh, how the, long will it take to set up such a smaller okay we take uh five days to do this to do this okay. once we have done the welding you saw the welding yeah. once we've done the welding it takes just uh five days to set up and then mm. we are done including the sprinklers and everything and now i realize you have some staffing yes. you've added some numbers to the yes. people that you employ now yes. how many are, are, are you in the team now okay so so far we have 12 people in the team wow we have uh people from cameroon zimbabwe zimbabwe yes they are our team as well head of engineer how did you get them uh we went is it to... that the know-how is not in ghana Ah, okay, so the entity that builds greenhouse mostly is Dizengoff and other companies, mm. but they are very expensive, so okay. you know, because they have their own, their uh, own systems. Yeah. We build locally, we yeah. source materials locally, locally and build it. So these guys were the readily available guys that uh, do that. Ironically, Zimbabweans don't eat snails, they don't like snails at all. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> we, did, uh, we met uh, at a, a, a session where they were doing greenhouse. Mm. Uh, farming and greenhouse and then i met him and he said he came to ghana to look for a uh, prospect basically and wow he saw us and i said oh we're also into greenhouse he for came snails. to ghana yes to look to for look prospect. prospect yeah yeah in that ghana is, that is how sweet it is if you are there <laughs> and you say there is no job in your country ghana you are mistaken yes 
I I know we have some of our brothers from Nigeria. Yes, I know working, we have some yeah. of our brothers in Burkina Faso. Cameroon. I know Cameroon. Yeah. I know Ivory Coast. Yeah. But I don't know people can come all the way, way from Zimbabwe to looking Ghana. for jobs in Ghana. Yeah. I think it is fantastic. It means that something is working here yeah. in our country. Yeah. So we can only do better. We can only, you know, broaden that scope. Exactly. Yes, I'm. I'm so happy. Professor Bana, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Yes. I understand you are the engineer. Yes. Sir. Behind this whole idea, building the stuff. Sure. Where did you learn it? Well, I'm from Zimbabwe. I know you are from Zimbabwe. I was going to go there. <laughs> so how did you land in Ghana? Well, I came here on a contractual basis. Okay. Yeah, I came in to recapitalize. Uh, certain project project okay and then, then you I, felt you I fell in done, love then you know you fell in love with ghana you said no <laughs> let me stay yeah so how long have you been in ghana this is my second year second year yeah do you love it here oh yeah i think so <laughs> <laughs> wow so what's your background what did you study in school how did you come into welding the plumbing everything i understand you're doing wonders here okay well, I'm an engineer by profession. Okay. I'm trained in mechanical and my and electrical. Oh, okay. But my strength is on electrical. Electrical. Yeah, mm. I do electrical installation, designs, mm. and all all the things that wow. you can think of. Yeah. Wow. But then I also have a vast experience in recapitalizing projects. Like I've been doing factory recapitalization, mines, and farms. Wow. But most recently, it, it's So where, where did you meet Trisolis? <laughs> where? In Ghana, did you meet him? Under yeah. what circumstance? Yeah, well, because he's also, you know, an entrepreneur. Yeah, looking so, for people uh, to... For people yeah. to, you know, partner with and, mm. and do this wonder. So we, we, we caught up with him. Okay. Yeah, on Facebook, we saw him and he saw us. Then we came, we and came together. Yeah. Wow. I'm proud because most Ghanaians out there think that there are no jobs in Ghana. So you coming all the way from Zimbabwe to do a job here in Ghana. I mean, I'm fascinated. Normally, it's only big corporations that will import somebody like South African, mm -hmm. Egyptian, mm -hmm. or an Indian to come and work for them. But working with a farm like Trisolis, I'm so, so glad. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Uh, your final word to people out there who have dreams, but they don't want to sort of let it materialize, let it come to the fore. What would you want to tell the youth out there? Well, this is it. Like you can see, you know, we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think personally, trustless is the answer. Yeah. You know, you can do this thing at the back of your yard. Yes. And with the, we are actually have adopted the latest technology. Yeah. That even, you know, we are appealing not only to the youth, mm. but even the elder. Because this is when you are on pension, not, yeah, it's not get busy, intense, yeah, yes, ah, because everything is semi automated, yeah. We have the sprinklers, the sprinklers, you know, everything. Was pipe from one mm. place to another, and it's just a simple of the touch of the button. So, I think even the older people can join in and you know, and have something like that at their background, yes. You know, instead of going uh, to the bush, you look for snails, you've mm. got your snails in here, you're assured of your catch. Mm. And you are assured also of, of your money, the extra money. Yeah, you can make extra money because there's going to be if you put in a thousand snares here, you mm. cannot chop all, all yeah, of them. All, when all of them one day. Yeah, so you have to. There's an extra cash that comes in from a project like this. Nice so talking. Nice, nice here, talking yes, to you. you. Just do this project. I I hope you don't go back again. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. I pray that you get yourself settled in Ghana mm -hmm. so that we, the youth will tap into the knowledge that you have. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, before you go, if you uh, charge 20000 to build up the structure, by now, uh, as a customer, I cannot afford 20000 yes. I want a structure which is half this one, okay. 10000 Will you do it for me? Okay. So what we can do is that with the help of uh, British Council and GIZ, which you know trained us trained you, yeah. in the beginning, we are building a portal where we are going to use this portal to take investment. So mm. a client like yourself, you can bring your 10000 and then we will use it to invest on our farm. Once you get the dividends for about, let's say, two years, mm. you can use that to build your own, own bigger one. Bigger one or if house. you are 
I'm suggesting something. If you have friends, exactly, you can partner you can up partner with a friend, we'll ten thousand, ten thousand, or five thousand, then, then you 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 start that as a as a company. So okay, yes, that's yes. nice. I'm 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 grateful. Yes. Uh, thanks for the interview. I am I am so elated. 